Hey guys, back again. We are up here in Amelia Island, Jacksonville, Florida, where you can kind of see this nice, beautiful canopy up above me. Um, so we are here today, and we are just about to start off a project where we're doing a uh, pond for a wonderful customer that has um, goldfish in one of her existing ponds that is way too small. So we are just starting today. I'm gonna head back here in just a second, but let's take a look at what Michael has for a challenge to get in this backyard. So to start with, um, it's a very tight road, but uh, we, we like these challenges. So Michael has the excavator in the backyard and this is where we we're able to enter through because we literally could not get in between the house and this tree. But the rest of our work will be done between the house and this tree. So Michael's gonna have to bring every bit of, I think it's eight to 10 tons of rock for this project through this tight little alley here. So this is gonna be his entrance and exit for the entire project. So it's an empty lot next door that somebody's gonna construct on sooner, sooner or later. But this is our tight, tight access. So check this out. All right, now. As we turn this corner, here will be Michael. And here's the crew. So this is our nice little tight access little spot here we can work in. Um, and this is gonna be interesting to say the least. So let's see if we can get Mike to talk to us for a few minutes and go over what's going on. All right, so this is a great Florida room right here. And this has such an awesome view into this natural preserve kind of feel. This is Amelia Island, it's always beautiful like this. So, this is what they enter out. And this is their view. So, wonderful decks, all kinds of living spaces everywhere. Um, all right, Mike. So walk us through what we got going on here. All right, so we're out here in Fernandina uh, Beach. Uh, one thing that I think about coming out here is just the quality of the soil. Uh, super sandy, we're on an island. This whole area is basically palmettos, just native Florida um, really And this is what and this is what you're using to get rid of it, right? Yeah. The big excavator? We got the excavator out here, uh, making it a breeze, just scratching away at everything, sifting through all the sand and dirt. Um, so I'll walk you through where the pond's going. We started tearing out obviously, we got big piles everywhere. Um, so the pond is going to be coming up against the border to the patio, probably about six to eight feet of that nice interactive space, close tucked up to the uh, walkway. We're going to bump out this way, coming out in here, start the curve in here. The biofall is going to be sitting right around in here, catching her viewpoints from inside. Uh, nice 18 to 24 inch waterfall this way. The pond's going to tuck back in. Uh, Jason had a good idea of giving her just a little bit more girth back in this area. Um, nice little canopy too, so it'll look nice. And then just swing back in and tying right back into the patio. Yeah, so this is gonna be a fun one, but Michael has that challenge like I was talking about, um, coming all the way around. So the excavator barely squeezed in here and he's gonna end up taking out all of this palmetto back here and giving her more garden space to actually plant in. Um, and then this is the best part. So. This is the pond she has as of right now. And if you look closely, there are probably about 15 goldfish in this guy. Uh, and they typically only come out for her when she's feeding them. So this was the starting point that somebody came out and built this really cool, you can't notice it, but brick retaining wall. Oh, there the goldfish come. And uh, these little line heads that spit out water. So they have outgrown this little kiddie pool and we're about to build them the mansion. So today is prep. And uh, we'll catch back up as soon as we do the uh, the pond dig. Always operate on a prep. Always. <laughs> yeah, for anybody that doesn't That's know that, success. anybody doesn't know that this machine operates two ways. Um, you can have a setting, and the pond crew is only allowed to operate on a. Otherwise, you can't be on the pond crew. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. That's totally true, Tony. Yeah, so Brian just dug this pond by hand. That's why he's running around with the cooler right now. <laughs> this is our second day out here. The first day, uh, we, oh God, we did a bunch of tear out. This whole dirt area from past the machine to the edge of the pond was nothing but just natural Florida uh, 
palmettos and uh, scrub hollies and oaks and stuff. So the first day was just nothing but tear out, um, making a blank canvas. So today we sprayed it out first thing in the morning, got the excavator on and dug our pond. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna set the, I know our water level, so I'm just gonna get the skimmer set to that. And then we'll be ready to install our fabric and liner and we'll start rocking this thing. So found the patio elevation. I'm gonna drop three inches. Uh, we usually like to go three to four inches lower than the surrounding uh, patio space, so it gives it a good look. All right, so we gotta raise this whole unit about two and a half inches. What are you thinking? It's great. You understand it now? That's your your, your deep area yeah, down there. Yeah, I do. I do understand better that the holes here. When it was I'm going, okay. Right. Explain right. It to me a little bit more. Yep. Yep. So this is. All sand. This island is just sand. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, and it's hard for us to like keep everything in place because it starts to slide down. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Just to give everyone a visual on how big this 6,000 biofall really is, I'm standing in it and it's coming up to my thighs here. Um, big, big filtration unit. A lot of oaks and debris are going to be dropping here, so that's why that's there. Uh, we have 90% of the pond rocked. Uh, we are leaving this area open right now. We have some machine sized boulders we're going to be setting uh, and it's cool because those rocks are going to take the place of you know something like this three to four rocks that looks going to be really nice having that waterfall come right through just one or two boulders instead of a bunch of smaller stuff giving that real natural built-in feel uh, we're about to start strapping those up setting those we just got back from lunch, so everyone's a little slow, so machine work, it, this is a good time for that right now, for sure. All right, we can turn it on now, but, but just so you know, there's still a lot of little things that we're gonna be working on. It's not like done or anything like that. So like stuff that we do, like I'll end up like messing with little pebbles and stuff just to get the water to flow over the rocks differently. Like this is really neat how this is coming over here. And then you have this just, I'm going to be sitting there playing little pebbles and stuff like that. Yeah. It looks good. So this is going to be kind of a interesting transition from this step through because that's really going to be your only access mm -hmm. so it needs to happen the reason why i built this wall is because your dirt level is going to be right in here okay so i might have to do like a almost like a step up so you have a little step okay. from your walk yeah. up to that and then there might be one more okay. until you're on that level. this level and then you can mosey around it's wonderful and I had a pond and a stream up north when I was up there so this makes me feel a little bit more at home. Okay. 
you know. So. That running water sound, yeah. nothing like it. I know, there really is. Of course, is. yeah. I have a little running water in there, and sometimes like when I'm in the greenhouse, you know, I'm in the greenhouse and that you hear And it, you hear it. Great. Yep. But now I'll really hear it, so yeah. it's going to be wonderful. And this is nice too, like, yeah. I don't know, those I, are all fixed windows, right? Or yeah, do they open? Fixed, no, okay. the bottom one's open. All those bottom oh, really? Ones open. Yeah, all those bottom ones open. Well, that's epic, because, so like that top waterfall being aimed directly there. Uh, yeah. It'd be great. That noise will travel right through and your actually house. actually from my bedroom window, which is up there, I can see, I can see all the way down. That's my bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, I can see all the way down here. Excellent. Yeah, so, because I've been peering out periodically from the and bedroom yeah. in the morning. Checking all the, yeah, all the Yeah, I views. do. Nice. <laughs> very nice. It's looking wonderful. I'm very happy. I heard about, I knew about you guys because I had passed you when I was down there a few times. And then when I was looking to build it, um, I looked you up online and then I said let me stop down and that's when I met Jason and I he came up and it was an experience and then I went down and looked at all your wonderful ponds and then I was online looking at all the things online uh -huh. so I said this looks like something that yeah. I definitely could have in my backyard and it is wonderful. Yeah and he's a total nerd when it comes to this stuff. He gets a little excited about oh, yeah. it too. Yeah. 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 yeah that's cool though. Mm -hmm. That's cool. He was really excited about it. So. Yeah. And he's he's super knowledgeable on this. Like, if you have any questions, like when you start seeing like, I don't know, throughout the year, like if you get like a spike in algae or you're noticing like weird growth or something, try to get a hold of him. I know he's like super busy all the I time, but I... he his pond at his house, he literally treats it as a guinea pig. Oh, to try new to try new things. things. Yeah, That's cool. yeah. That's cool. So he's a wealth of information for sure. Tap into him whenever you can. And at night, it'll be nice to see it at night. That's one thing that I don't get, like don't the get satisfaction for, is like, I'll build it during the day, put the lights in, and like I have an idea of like what it's gonna be shining on where, but. Well, you'll just have to come back at I'm night. I'm gonna have to <laughs> hang out, yeah. It looks great. So when, when you put it on the first time and you just sort of see how it flows between the rocks that are already existing in the liner? Is yeah, that what exactly, yeah. So when we turn it on for the first time, we don't tuck any of the liner until it's running because if we were to tuck before we don't know where the water level sits in the stream and then we'll have a you know water coming out the side like right. a low edge so that's why we we wait turn it on run it full blast because then we could see everywhere you know like here like an area like this is most likely just going to get just gravel and be like a little beach kind of right. gravel area and then dirt and mulch to that um, so you're almost, you're making now a new outline for it in a way. So it right. Yeah. And then, so once you get this very rough outline, that's when we start bringing in like some flare rocks just to kind of like accent off and make it, it makes it look way more natural when you have like these little swooping retaining rocks coming off both sides, you know, accenting. I really like this rock because it drags that line out. Right. So then probably right in here, I don't know where, I'm, but just like there's going to be more rocks right. just set on the outside of the Make liner. It look as if it's just, oh yeah, it, it's, it wasn't put there; it was there all the time. Right, yeah. exactly. And that's that's really what I wanted. Something to look, you know, like it's always been. Here. It's built in, yeah. This new is not always good for me. I, just, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. At least you weren't asking us for new rocks. No, no new. Rocks. There are no such things as new rocks. I'm glad you know that. We have people who come in and try to. That rock's used. No, it's what do you mean? Rock. What is that? Mean? Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, we're back again here. I know you guys have seen the waterfall turn on, but you haven't seen the final. So this is actually, I think, uh, two weeks because we've gotten a little delayed to come up here to film this last part. But let's sneak around the corner. I'm not sure if Joy's home right now, but uh, let's definitely get back here and check this thing out. Oh man. She's already come in and look at all the landscaping. I told you guys she's a gardener, so I was expecting just to see nothing around here, but she's already transplanted her olive trees. Um, she's got citrus, some blueberry, um, banana. This is looking awesome. Wow, look how different this is. This is totally different than what we walked over and showed you guys the first day we were out here. So this pond has actually expanded further back there. And the waterfall, which I've, I envisioned being dropping in here, is now have come, has come over further and further. Um, Mike and Joy must have identified that this waterfall being where it is, is capturing inside. So this is super cool. This is so much different than what I was envisioning, but I love it. 
this has turned out awesome. So it's our, it's our same typical how we do the pond. It's, there's 20 steps to build a proper pond and we have done that over and over and over. So it's got a lot of the similarities to it, but it's so fun when we come out here. You've got skimmer, you got your biofall, all the stuff we've talked about in past videos on how this thing's put together, but it's always fun coming and seeing the pond when it's done. So I haven't seen it since uh, the first day or two that Michael started out here, but this thing really turned out awesome. I love what he's done with it. And there's Joy, hey Joy. Good morning. How are you? How are Good. You? How, are you? how are you? Hello. How are you? <laughs> you know, I like. You know, I'm nuts with gardening. Yeah, right? I know. So I've already said that as I walked back here. I said, "Holy moly, she's already planted it all up." I know. Well, I still have stuff coming, and I can't wait until the spring. Yeah. But I moved. I moved this arch back into there, and I'm gonna do a little bit over there. And I'm you've gained a lot of yard, haven't you? I did, and I got. It looks great. It looks great. I'm very happy with it. Um, and they made it look easy, didn't they? With that big machine. Oh my god. Oh my god. It freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they did a good job and I'm good. very happy with it. But that's cool. I, this is so neat how he's kind of expanded it back, back further. That's yeah, much different than I expected. That, I, yeah. Me too. I didn't know what was going to happen, but it, it was awesome. He's going to want you through all kinds of stuff because Michael does this. I mean, it, it takes a lot of time to do it, but it still seems so quick, doesn't it? It all happens so quickly. It was within a week. It was, and we lost Friday a little bit. We lost Monday. It was raining. It was it just, it was. It happened so quickly. He did a good job. Yep. A good job. Is that one of your goldfish in there, though? Yeah, I have two gold, I've got two yeah. big goldfish out. Nice. And the others, I'm going to try to get, I'm going to leave some of them in there, but there are one or two bigger ones in there that are just not happy. But when I put the big, big one in here, the first one, I, I saw him. I caught him. He's giant. That one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. He was so freaking happy. I couldn't believe it. it was like, if you ever saw a fish, a happy fish, that was one happy fish. That's funny. And then there's another big one in here somewhere. And they love the little cave. Yeah. They oh, the they're going to love the they heck out of that. that. Yep. They'll take a little time to get used to you and feeding them. That's going to be a while. Yeah, but that goldfish is going to help teach them because they know the goldfish no, they know knows now you. If I go over here, they all come up. Yeah. And those little koi are ravenous. They will just go crazy. They're yep. crazy. They're better cleaners, so they're going to keep those rocks clean. I mean, they're just the goldfish are okay at, at doing that, but the koi are just bottom feeders, and they're going to help keep that pond clean. Thank you.